All right, I'll tell them. They want one more, Los. Just one more. All right. Okay. All right. You want to make me do it? What more do you want from me? Shout out to my nigga Tyrese. His girl got him paying like 13 G's in child support. Bro, if racism wasn't so prevalent in Hollywood, we could have got the guy. We could have. They owe us three movies. Just about Apollo Creed. Right. Keep that shit going, man. Give me some funk, man. Bring the funk in, bro. It's the 85 South Show. It's like a real nigga news network. And uh, if you listen to like three of these episodes, you can probably change your net worth. Hey, see, I'm going to tell you some shit and you want to know why. This the podcast started by me and Young Fly and Clayton. Chico came along, we started rapping and making all types of songs And uh, my nigga Nav, he be doing the math and he be knowing what it do He be touching and grabbing shit And when I post a pic, I do it on Instagram Hashtag quit touching shit, ooh, there I am I'm your girl's favorite comic I'm so sick with the freestyle, I make niggas vomit Damn, like green eggs and ham I'm kicking bitches out the crib like Martin did Pam Like, ooh See, that shit was so easy, but that wasn't even my line. I heard that shit from Lil Weezy. And they don't even give credit what credit's due, but that ain't shit that I don't do because I keep it so true. I rock red with the shoes and the blue with the hat. I spit facts. And niggas can't stand that. And, uh, and every time that you see me, I be so cool. J O N, put this shit on Pro 2. Damn. That shit crazy. Shout out to my niggas who don't like their old lady, but they love their babies. That for that reason you can't leave I'ma give it to you straight Because I know that's what you need It's uh I'ma take it back to like 03 When I was doing this shit for free And wasn't charging a fee But no I knew then That I was back to win Snoop was drinking gin I had some bitches at the crib They can't go home Cause they didn't have no home And they didn't have no phone But they had a lot of ass And a real nice face So I had them rolling grass I'm like a drug dealer, but I tell jokes. I'm like a drug seller, the way I smoke. Oh, I want some ribs. Had your girl butt naked walking around my crib. And uh, and you don't even know that's how the pimping goes. And I'm uh, pimp some hoes and have them cooking tacos. Hey, <laughs> and I be all in the kitchen. Play that shit, J O N. We on a mission. Oh, that was just the first part. Man, let that shit break. Well, that was just the first part. I'm gonna drink some ribs. Say I'm giving them too much, but I really don't think I give them enough. Bruh, this is what you gotta watch again as a grown person, though. Golden Girl. Yeah. This shit was some sick shit. Yeah. All these 70 plus year old ladies still hold. But it's Thanksgiving. We can't wait for. Like, am I the only one who started preparing for Thanksgiving that week, like on Monday? Like, I start eating light on Monday, like, ooh. No full meals, no. I'm gonna eat heavy this week. I'm gonna eat heavy. <laughs> You don't get no size. You're at Chick Fil A, just a sandwich and a water. I'm gonna eat heavy at the end of the week. <laughs> I don't eat shit. You know, you, you, am I the only one that starves myself on Thanksgiving morning? Like I'm determined not to eat nothing all morning till it's time to eat. But I don't. I don't like the help though. Like when they walk past to ask who up to help, I still pretend like I'm asleep. This podcast is for niggas that pull over just to comment. I did not know that. Y'all, hey man, the notification gang be going real hard out here in these streets. I, the comments from the notification gang be shit like, man, I ain't even watched this shit yet, and I'm already leaving comments. I know this shit gonna be. What's up with you, man? You shit, you know what it is. You better open your damn eyes. Get your crawl on. Shit, I, shit, I, 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 I get with a crawler. <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. Keep me a crawler. Yeah, I mess with hell. I mess with him. Yeah, but them crawlers, they be on that shit. They see me, we, we on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do my thing on the weekend. Hey, I work, you know. I work throughout the weekend. Yeah, that's the sneaky gig of the weekend. You ain't got no damn job, shorty. <laughs> Quit all the line. Shit, uh, I know the roaches in the kitchen. I, I go up there, give me some of that white powder. And, and you be inside, nigga, of the decade. Come on, man. I feel like you ain't showing niggas the steps to success. Okay. 
You talk about it. I'ma tell them then. You tell, tell them your life. All right, here you go. Give them a breakdown. The first thing you got to do to be a vet and not a rookie, you want to be the president, well, grab them by the pussy. Woo! And shit, I'm talking about life. Don't grab nobody by the pussy unless that's your wife. These is all facts. The president was black, they need to bring him right back. Because this dude that they got now, I don't know how. He be saying shit like, you ever drunk milk from a cow? I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is you saying? You the president, my nigga, you must be goddamn playing. And uh, I ain't trying to say that I know it all. But why the fuck would they waste money building a wall around Mexico? Mexico so goddamn cool. They got dope and they got hoes and they got all that shit too. Damn. And they act like they don't need us. Shout out to Maria, Jose, and my nigga Jesus. Hey. You think that I don't know shit? I speak a little Spanish, nigga. Viva Mexico. Hey. You feel what I'm saying, bro? I can spit, I can rap that shit in speech. Just, just straight facts to him, bro. Man. You know what I mean? I, I, I really love what you're doing for the game. Come I'm on, bro. This shit up. I'm trying to be big, my nigga. Hey. I'm trying to be bigger than Oprah Winfrey was in the 80s, bro. I'm talking about I wanna be bigger than the old Al Sharpton, my nigga. I wanna be bigger than the first motherfucking iPad, iPhone, all that. I'm talking about I'm trying to be bigger than a Motorola brick phone, my nigga. But I'm saying, Los, what you doing to the beat right now? I'm saying, like, you, you, you beating the fuck out, you, you beating the fuck out the beat. Your girlfriend sucked dick at the movie theater. I caught your girlfriend fucking dick in the movie theater. I saw your girl sucking wee wee. <laughs> yeah, man. You ready to jump this shit off? We'll be ready in a few minutes, man. You know, I always, I'll never just start this shit. I always just be talking, just talking to, it, to it. You gotta warm your vocals up, man. Get your banter game together. Get your motherfucking product placement on, man. It's about to get chilly, billy, willy out here, man. Before I met y'all, man, I ain't know nothing about a podcast. I ain't know nothing about product placement. But see, that's why we had to do it. <laughs> that's exactly why we had to do it. And you a smart nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you be up to up to date and what's current and what's going on out here in these streets. That podcast shit caught me on guard, though. Bruh, it's all about mental... Elevation. Do we ever know why they even call it a podcast? Fuck it. It's some online technical shit. We don't need to know all that. Fuck. We just in the podcast game. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the coldest one. You understand me? Out of all the ones that's cold, this just happens to be the coldest one. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we got people talking about this shit, bro. Different states, different, different cities. I'm talking about the niggas who be like janitors at the airport and shit. Be like, God damn, low, what your ugly oh, ass doing in here? Man, uh, all off some '85 shit. Kevin Tate, brother, he a barber here. Oh, for real? Man, he he love this shit. What's his name? You uh, forgot. Kurt? Kurt. Shout out to Kurt Tate. I don't know if his last name Tate, man. but he know. Man, you see him, he look just like Kevin Tate. He bigger though. Oh, okay. He's really a brother. That's what's up, man. He we, was like, he was like, you think you know my brother? He said, no, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know every nigga that's funny. That was worth knowing. <laughs> I know a whole bunch of niggas that's worth knowing, and a bunch of motherfuckers I wish I could have know. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, man, I fuck with that shit. He he was knowing episodes by heart. That he don't up. watch the YouTube. Oh, he just be listening he to just it. Listen. Oh, we gonna come in here one day and do. We gotta do some clean, clean episodes for the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the hood barbershop just play it straight through, but some of them folk be, oh, yeah. you know, some of the barbershop be a front for, like, dope boy Christian. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, speaking of which, shout out to all the Christian dope boys. That's what he just said. No, we're going to definitely do one. I've been said that shit. I said it last year because my homeboy got the barbershop and he was like, man, you, you know, we, we be playing it later on in the evening, but you know, <laughs> we want to be getting that prime spot. I think you better choose your cash wisely. You know, you better not have that boy fly. Oh yeah, he gonna be in there. He been, on, he been clean on TV all day. Barely. Do you know? <laughs> That's as clean as you gonna get. That's as clean as you gonna get. 
<laughs> Times are changing, man. I don't understand why you can't say what the fuck you want to these days. That's what got me so pissed, though. You the first one to push the envelope on Wild Town. Why you feel like that? I feel like it was it was a mother. They they pushed it pretty hard before I got on there. I guess you could say that because I was on there when they brought it back, and it and you know and that when it had been off for such yeah, a minute. We thinking that was the reason why they took it off. No, nah. because niggas were pushing it. Was Nick just was like, nah, I'm good right now. He ain't really want to do it no more. Then you came. Man, we came and took. I think when we came, we we took the show somewhere else though. Like. It was what it was before we got there. And but if you watch the old shit before we got there and the new shit now, it really it's really two different shows. Yeah, it's totally different. Yeah. It's just a different speed. It's a different a whole different atmosphere, I feel like. Season ten coming up on their ass. We did six seasons of this show. And they still be acting like it's my first day. Who be acting like that? Man, the people who, you know, the people who think they run shit. Yeah. <laughs> Them the people I got the biggest beef with right now. And I got a, everybody that I'm beefing with, it's the sexual predators <laughs> and motherfuckers who think they run shit. I hate you that. You can't tell them that they don't. But that's the thing. I don't even feel like I have to tell them. Like it was this so one. It's just like you ignoring them. Right. Yeah. But I just be looking at them, do they? I be like, bless their heart. Now, if, now that I'm grown, I finally feel, figured out what old people meant by that shit. <laughs> it wasn't because they care about your actual heart. When they, when old people say, bless his heart, that that just they see you going hard, doing some pointless ass shit. But no mother. And they don't want to be the one who kill your little dumb ass joy. <laughs> bless his heart. That's just like when you see your baby trying to put, shake. yeah. When you, when you see your baby trying to put a nickel in the phone, you go, "Oh, bless his heart. He don't know no better." That was just a, a nice way of calling you stupid. That's hell, man. That's who got shit fucked up. Though. People who think they run shit. But if you ask them what they do, they description and describe that they run shit wherever they at. You know who worse than them? People who are in little bit of temporary positions who think they permanent. Like, man, you don't run shit. Don't even give me your input. Shut the fuck up. You don't even do what I do. You don't never see the the, uh, the trash man at the job talking to the nigga who drilled the screws in. Because they got two different experiences. <laughs> Bitch, you do trash. I do screws. What, what we gonna meet in the middle of that? I got some screws that's fucked up that you could throw away. Driving the truck, don't talk to the niggas. They don't be talking to them niggas on the back. back they don't, hey, the niggas it? on the back can't stand the niggas who driving. Now nah, this Ooh, nigga, get, cold. Man, get the fuck out of here. We want to swing on them niggas when the truck stops. You can you can see their facial expression when they keep jumping off that because I got Bruh, stuck behind one. You ever seen some trash, some trash like a, a trash crew that was homies though? The way that they do that shit. Like the nigga stop in the middle of the street, let the nigga get four houses all at once. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like them, uh, the niggas over there when I stayed down on. Um, team chemistry, though. Right. When I stayed in the SWATs, like they got some hood niggas that do the trash over there. Like, nigga jumping off, smoking loud. You can hear the young Ralph playing. Like, they play like, they be only, li like, you can tell a real Atlanta nigga, because they all, we always listen to some shit that just be in Atlanta. Right. Like niggas who ride around still listening to Rocco shit from three summers ago. Oh, yeah. This morning I woke up. You be like, that's real A Town shit right there. Niggas who know who Young Ralph the Jug Man is. Get the fuck out of here. You don't know who, who that is? Everybody know Young oh, Ralph the Jug Man. Hell, hey, salute to Young Ralph the Jug Man. I'm talking about niggas who ride around and listen to Rich Homie Quan mixtape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not just the shit on the radio, the, the mixtape. Mix exactly. Exactly. He was singing his ass off. How that nigga meant every word. I ain't know him and his uncle had fell out like that. <laughs> it was one song you were talking about that shit. Hey man, that's just the type of shit I be talking about. Mm-hmm. Nigga, young lay had niggas wearing a different color shoes. You got to know the boy futuristic, ain't it? It hurt my heart when him and Jay Money were beefing. Man. Bruh. That nigga could have been, like, he could have really been a legend. Yeah. But he fucked it up. 
How you gonna fall out with Grand Hustle though, bro? Don't that don't never end well. Then he had the video of uh, him getting jumped at the at that empty ass house. Oh man, with Alley Boy. Boy. That nigga crazy. crazy. You ain't ordinary, bro. You ain't. Bop, 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 bop. They beat the shit out of that nigga. And that was right after he had got. The what the thing. fuck did he get a duck to? See, we talking about shit that motherfuckers on. Who remember when Young LA went and got that big ass duct tape logo tattooed on his face? But what made it worse when Alley Boy called to the radio station and said he got to take that off. He did say like, that. Like, you just can't tell him Bro, that, that shit I wasn't think. even healed yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, how you feel about the, your boy getting... Hey, he got to take that off. Nigga, this is not a shirt. Right. This is a whole face tattoo. Man. Mm-mm. Boy, that old Gucci. Oh, nigga. Gucci said he got so many songs, he don't remember all them motherfuckers. I believe him. Oh, hell yeah. Cause I don't remember. Gucci got some shit though. He be saying some shit and all. Of, see, that's the thing though. You gotta be real. I'm the type of nigga who will say all that shit ain't good, but Gucci got some shit. All of it I don't like though. Yeah. I just feel like it's about four or five different Gucci's. You know what I'm saying? And like you got the the like you got the Gucci the trapper. Then you got that nigga who crazy. Then you got Guwap. It's like about seven eight of them niggas. Yeah, man. he different. Some of that shit I just lead to the dope boy though. I I've been fucking with that new Thug in Future, but I, I can't I, I, see Thug. I cut it off. Thug cut. got about three songs that I can that I can say that I really fuck with. Man, the, the, I'm listening to the nigga Thug. Thug said he started off with Fifty Keys. Like I ain't never sold dope, but come on, bro. You dog. don't never start like, with Fifty. Bro, Fifty Keys lost. That's a lot of kids. You man. start, nigga. Nah, you don't man. even know how to sell dope good enough to have Fifty Keys. Don't even finish with Fifty Keys. Man. You started with the shit. No, man. <laughs> He said, I'm going to stack my money to God's knees. He did <laughs> say that. Now, I was like, that's possible, but damn. Bro, Young Thug got a song called Tampax Pearl. Oh, young nigga bleeding on your girl. What? Yeah, the song called Tampax Pearl. <laughs> young nigga bleeding on your girl. Wow. Yeah, pull, pull it up. Yeah. Young Thug, he really be saying some crazy shit, nigga. That nigga said... I just went platinum like a fucking nickel. <laughs> and was dead ass. Speaking of young, you know what though? My, I fuck with that one he got with Rich Homie Quan. Him and Rich Homie Quan got they a few little classics. They, they made great music. Yeah. Together. Please get the fuck out of my face. Oh, you fuck with that yeah. one? Yeah. I fuck with that whole little mixtape they had though. <laughs> Real nigga radio. What you be riding around listening to just on an average day? Right now, I've been fucking with that money bag, yo, man. Bro, that's, that nigga go hard. Home All we do rap. it for. She said we don't do it enough. <laughs> that nigga sound just like that to me. Bro, <laughs> he go crazy. I got a thing for bitches. I don't really hang with bitches. Me either. I thought I was the only one. Salute to all you best friend ass niggas be out here hanging with bitches. Nigga be friend zone in they damn self. Bruh. Like the bitch one ain't gonna put you in the friend zone, but you made it possible. You ever seen a nigga just come all the way out of character trying to be the best friend? He be introduced. Hey, this is my own girl. He my best friend. Like, oh, hell no. Man, get your puss ass out of here. Get, I, you can I tell the bitch out for best friend in me. Bitch, don't call me that. You can tell when a nigga ain't have no uncles. They be walking around saying shit like, this is my best friend. Get your bitch ass out of here. I hit a bitch with a home girl, and that might I might be done fucked her. That's my home girl right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, I want to let her know it's still player. I mean, how else do you get to become somebody home girl? <laughs> <laughs> so long before that, what she? I don't know. <laughs> she just a lady before she gave you some pussy. Uh, this this shawty. Hey, <laughs> old girl. Yeah. What's your name again? Sh old girl. Okay. Hit her with Shit. The, what's your name? 
So you just taught me something. I don't know how you get to be homegirls with a chick. Yeah. I ain't I ain't never been. So it steps to the homegirl. Man, if it's some, hey, if your girl ever told you I was her homeboy, that bitch lying. <laughs> I tried to fuck. I ain't the type. I know that the world ain't gonna last that long. I'm the type of I will risk the friendship. Yeah, yeah. too. That's why when I be like, you know what I'm saying? When they be like, where your hoes at? Like, I ain't got no hoes. Mm-mm. I ain't got no hoes. I ain't got no friends. I ain't got nothing. Mm-mm. And yeah. Mm-mm. I don't even, I, you know what's so crazy? I ain't even friends with ugly bitches. I just can't do it. Because you a fucker. I fuck around. I, I can't be, I don't want to be around your ass like that. You you know how that shit work when somebody ugly. Looking good. Like the first day you meet the bitch, you like that bitch hurt. Then you done seen about seven hundred days. You be like, she ain't even got my got little ass on. Personality to convince you that she ain't even ugly no more. Like she cool as fuck. Like I can be myself. Right now you see you be around the motherfucker. Then you start to see that it ain't just about what they look. How, how females be feeling about ugly niggas? Like man, come on. Like now, funny. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I done worked my way in. Man. In bad bitches now. Some, sometimes bitches will trick you and make you think you look good. Nigga, get fussing at it home, boy. Like, nah, you got to see her when she got there and get <laughs> up and shit. Take up for the bitch. Like, nah, when Charlotte step out, she be on the shit. What's crap? Ooh. Hey. There go Rufus. Let's go fuck with him. <laughs> hey, Rufus, what's going on, man? Yeah, well, shit, it, it's been going on. It's been going on. It ain't just not going on now. I, it's been going on. <laughs> what? What? Shit, you, me and you both know what I'm talking about when I say it's going on. <laughs> what's up with you, man? Shit, you know what it is. You better open your damn eyes. Get your crawl on. Shit, I, shit, I, 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 I get with a crawler. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Keep me a crawler. Yeah, I mess with hell. I mess with them. Yeah, but them crawlers, they be on that shit. They shit me. We, we on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do my thing on the weekend. Hey, I work, you know. I work throughout the weekend. Uh, the sneaky gig of the weekend. You ain't got no damn job, shorty. <laughs> Quit all the line. Shit, uh, I know the roaches in the kitchen. I, I go up there, give me some of that white powder off the window. Between me and you, between me and you. That just hey, between me and you. Damn, Rufus, you gotta tighten up, man. How long you been on this shit? How long you been up there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It been going on. A ain't nothing, ain't nothing new in, in ain't nothing new. A lot of new shit. Yeah, y'all think something new, but we it been going on. Shit, hell. Where the hell you going anyway with your big and ass? He need to go to rehab. Shit. <laughs> Huh. Huh. <laughs> shit. You, who are you? Police? You the rats? You the rats? The nigga the rats. The nigga the motherfucking rats. I knew you was the rats. I can tell by what you ask. Yeah. I'm telling you. That powder did some to him. Shit, what it don't do? You know them little legs on the bottom that don't really work? Shit, they get to working. <laughs> working, baby. They get to working. I tell you, I asked you something, young bro. You, you ever seen one of them roaches just, just on his back, can't get up, but he ain't dead? <laughs> yeah. You. That's what it do to you. Put you on your back. You know how hard it is for a roof to get off his back? <laughs> Why the hell would you want to take something that's going to put you on your back? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why you want to be on your feet? I'd rather have something put me on my ass than to have me standing on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell you want to stand on your feet? You ain't no damn man. Is you a roach or a man? <laughs> oh, man. That's, the, that's the thing with roaches now. Trying to be a damn man. Be a roach. Hey, ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I'm a rope. My daddy was a rope. I think. I don't know. That's what they said. Yeah. Oh. It been going on. Hey, you ever had a chick like you too much and you be like, man, this bitch lying. Ain't no way she like me like this. <laughs> I don't like me this much. Who she working for? I don't trust it. <laughs> Joe get it. Yeah, man. 
This motherfucker kind of get it. Bro, that's him. So, so, Lowe, when she stopped being your homegirl, though? She could always be your homegirl. I don't know. Let me figure this shit. We got to break this like, shit yeah, down. Yeah, because, like, niggas need to know. Okay. So, when she stopped being your homegirl, I think she your homegirl till she get pregnant. <laughs> but you can hit her with a congrats, though. Yeah. yeah, but see, that's what niggas don't be prepared for. Like, they think being the best friend is automatically gonna make them a shoe in for the next time she want a nigga. Right. They don't understand. They about to she get skipped right over. Up, man, she looking right past. Come on, know. bro. I read these shits because they about me. <laughs> now I read all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey! On this segment of, I will read all of that. We will be reading some of the most rambunctious, outrageous, spontaneous, randomly selected comments. It's a nigga somewhere in the world named Jess D. That could be a male or a female. Give me something funky to read this shit to. Let me show these niggas how to. I show these niggas how to make a segment. Uh huh. Shout out to Jess D. Carlos started so nice, man. How long your ass been fat? <laughs> this podcast is for niggas who know how to be nice, respectfully as fuck. Niggas like me, so goddamn magnificent. Cause it ain't about what you say, it's how you say it. <laughs> D Mac B said that nigga Carlos Miller is a genius. I wouldn't even say all that. I would just say that my life has educated me in areas that people don't even, you know, primarily focus on. I say shit like, primarily focus on. <laughs> but that's not even an afterthought. Cause I ain't think nothing after I said it. Moving right along. Hey, Dominique Lyons. That's one of Lucius Lyons' kids. <laughs> Said Chico and Carlos, way too funky. Don't forget the fire emoji. Way man. too. Fire. Three fire emojis. It must have been on a scale of one to three because ain't no way we ain't get five. Salute the black cam. He said, Carlos, I love the show. My man and I watch it tripping all the time. Hold up. Must be a girl. She said, where can we find some J-O-N instrumentals? This shit be on that grown folk. Brown lip and chill. Keep up the good work. You know what? Black Cam. Black Clam, my bad. That mean black pussy. I call it. You get clam pussy? Yeah, I get it. J-O-N. Joe, shoot a shot at J-O-N, making some of that funky shit. And while you, and while you recording that, okay. when you put that shit together, we're going to put all this info right there. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. You know what? We're going to post, we'll post some J-O-N snippets at the end of this. At least a link. I ain't going to lie, Lowe's. He's taking up a notch with the facial expression and shit. Now he you know why? That's why I'm reading these comments about me and do something better when you, you do shit better when you know people like it. Facts. That is you. Do it again. You better quit. Shout out to Mr. Hotspot. JY Rebel said, is Chad and Carlos related to? You know what? We don't know. But we might be. Back in the day when we worked together, niggas used to always think we was related. I don't know. His mama is from Mississippi. We just trying to figure out. We, we, uh, to be continued. Good. Okay. All right. I don't know how you pronounce this shit, but it looked like Kreshkin. You see that? I was, I was a Christian. Uh-uh. Creshawn. Okay. Boy. You know, I got a master's degree in ghetto names. Four Eyes was preaching that Brandon. 
need that 85 South show records, cuz whenever 85 South and the alumni in the city's building, Nick, you know what's happening. Smith's Old Bar, Cash Cafe, don't matter if they in the South or if they clicked up. Think we don't see Billy and ADD rocking down that, rocking that 85 South, you already know. Think we don't see Mero on Vice Land rocking that 85 South show hat, question mark. DZ, DC, Clayton, Carlo, Chico, and all the ladies. Half a million subs, we coming. God damn. What the subs? You know they gonna send us something in a minute because we about to be right at 100,000 subscribers. Oh my God. Yeah. So big salute to the notification gang. You know, for keeping us in your thoughts and in your prayers. Making the 85 South show, you know, just a magnificent experience, you know, if we was gonna ever have one. My name is Carlos Miller and I do most of the driving, but I ain't the only driver. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, you can look through your girl phone all you want to. I know she ain't got my number saved under no regular shit. You'd be better off looking at the bottom, searching a hashtag or something, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about what I'm doing, it's what I ain't doing that's making, you know what I mean? I ain't even gotta say it. They, they get the picture. I put some shit on your mind like a wave cap. You ain't no real nigga if you don't let your do-rag flap just flap in the motherfucking wind. You must be fake or something. Yeah. And uh, this podcast is right here. It's for all the ladies who like to sleep in a wife beater. But every morning you wake up, one of your titties be hanging out the arm sleeve. Oh, shit. This for my niggas who got a favorite pair of house shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This for all the niggas who got to run outside real quick a lot of times. People who like to talk shit to their upstairs neighbor and just, you know, just stick your head out the door and holler some shit out. You smoking a blunt on your balcony, they smoking a blunt on their balcony, y'all having a whole conversation, but don't never even look over at each other. The fucked up part is, they been staying upstairs about two or three years and you don't even know their name. You just call them neighbor. This podcast right here is for all the niggas who grew up and your grandma used to be the candy lady. Growing up hood privileged and shit. For all the ladies who got a tattoo of a nigga name, you just ain't came up with that extra $85 to get it cut up, covered up. You know who I don't want fucking with the podcast, though? You know who I don't want fucking with? Niggas who got nipple rings. How fucking freaky is you, my nigga? Niggas doing that? Niggas out here, bro. Whole ass niggas. Lord. That, that's not what I record this for. God bless his heart. Bless his motherfucking heart. You know who else can't fuck with this? Niggas who got tattoos anywhere by their belly button, man. And you know who else can't fuck with it? Niggas who say belly button, man. What type of niggas say belly button, man? Gotta say neighbor. Tramp stamp having an ad boy. You know what? I said, you know what? You ain't hear what I'm saying, bro. This sandwich, this shit right here, got me thinking about a sandwich, my nigga. Speaking of sandwiches, this podcast this evening is dedicated to all my niggas who put chips on their sandwiches, my nigga. Doritos and shit. I'm a sour cream and onion nigga, my you know, you know the one thing I miss about living at home with my mama? It don't matter what the fuck happened. Through the worst of times. We always had enough for a good bologna sandwich. Oh, bologna only tastes good at your mama house. I'm a grown ass man and this is a fact. If you don't believe me, wait till you move out and buy some bologna. I bet that shit don't taste the same. I know it don't because I've been grown. They think I'm lying, bro. They think I'm playing, bro. 
That's the thing, bro. I'm this project. I'm this ghetto. I'm talking about niggas who don't. I'm talking about niggas who make a cold cut bologna sandwich. Bologna tastes way different if you cut the sandwich in triangles. I'm just saying, my nigga. Pussy ass niggas out here got food allergies. <laughs> they allergic to these nuts. <laughs> I said these pussy niggas out here. They got them food allergies. Cause they allergic to these nuts. Nigga can't even eat ice cream. That nigga can't have no dairy, no lactose. <laughs> Shit be kinda crazy. Fuck that nigga can't even eat cereal, man. Exactly. I can't trust a nigga who can't eat no cereal, man. Shout out to all them project bitches who breastfed. Now your baby big as a motherfucker. He's six months, but now he look two. Little nigga can't even walk yet. But he too heavy. <laughs> yeah. You know who I'm recording this shit right here for? Niggas who ran out of motherfucking rags. Towels, my nigga. I don't know what you call it at your house, nigga. Wash rags, wash cloth, nigga. Face towels. Depends on what part of the country you in. They got different names for them. But I'm talking about, nigga, when you stay at your mama house and y'all run out of washcloths, nigga. And you just take a whole goddamn shower with a clean dish rag. <laughs> and this some shit you might not know. White people don't use dish rags. And they don't use no loofah. I know because I got white friends. And they don't use dish rag. My white partner came over my house. He's like, wow, Los, why you got so many towels? I was like, what? I don't give a fuck, I'm showing love. If you wanna fuck me after the club, you got the scrub. It's just like some real nigga poetry. You know what I'm gonna do? We just gonna spread this shit out. Keep it going, that shit's so funky, man. Shout out to Chad on the beat. Chad and Jay are in together. Oh my God. It's like a black history lesson. Niggas invented rolling blunts. It's like when Metro Boomin meets Quincy Jones. Yeah. You, you, know, you feel what I'm saying? In the ghetto, though. Yeah. You know what was fucking me up, bro? You know I'm always looking up some shit that might blow my mind one time. So I'm up looking up some black history, right? I get to looking up, you know, the Civil War and shit, you know, all the soldiers that fought for the Confederacy and shit. Bruh, why is pictures of these niggas and they smoking black and man? Yeah, with the motherfucking plastic tip on it. It got to be Photoshop, right? I ain't tripping. Nah, that probably the real thing. Yeah, shout out to them National Geographic titties. I'm talking about the one that's long. You ain't never seen them titties that look like sweet potatoes. Huh? I can really do this all day. Tall women got long pussies that be stretched like hallways. Shout out to my niggas who work at Jiffy Lube that don't know shit about cars. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's smoking, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of smoking, if you my real partner and you sell dope, and when I say dope, I ain't talking about that shit that you snort. I'm talking about that green shit that we like to smoke. And I've been getting weed from you for a long time. Don't weigh my shit, bro. I said, don't weigh my shit, bro. You know what I want. I'm supposed to get a little bit extra. I fuck with you like that. <coughs> They give me enough to make the bag look like it's a lot. However much that is. Even if it's the exact amount. Make me feel like I got some. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold up, love, don't leave it. Put that in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pinch me some out is what I'm saying. I'm not like the rest of these motherfuckers. And I ain't trying to say that I deserve special privileges and shit, but look, damn. 
Think about all them times I went over the nigga house, the weed man house. And he was like, damn, low. Run me to the store real quick. Oh, yeah. They need a ride. Oh, let me see your phone right quick. I'm about to call my baby mama. I don't want her to have my number yet. <laughs> Why I always got to be looking out for you and you don't be looking out for me? It's all about customer appreciation. You know what happens when you look out for niggas too much? You become the motherfucking lookout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they keep lying on the black man. That's all they motherfucking do. Cause a white dude crazy. The white man shooting up shit like every damn day I turn up on the news. 20 people shot again. But then they'll tell you that the project ain't safe. Nigga. I don't give a fuck. Donald Trump and all of your homies, I hope all y'all go to jail. Jeff Sessions. Nigga. To all the sexual predators groping and touching and being inappropriate with these ladies. The fuck is wrong with y'all? You know you can't be jacking your dick in front of no chick and... Come on, Lewis. I ain't even gonna call you Lewis. But I ain't fucked with you way before the sexual shit, bruh. You know better. And you know better. You out here just jerking your dick, looking motherfucker right in the eye. What the fuck is wrong with you, Louis Louis? Thought See, the, shit the list so out. long, you can't even chastise the motherfucker because he, he ain't did shit that 80 other motherfuckers ain't did in your own nest. Can't take no pussy from nobody. You can't strong on no pussy. That shit ain't yours. Who the fuck texted us? Act like you don't know. <laughs> fuck all that. I'm glad y'all came up with that funky shit. I just need, I had a lot of shit I had to say, man. It ain't even about the rhyming. It's just a lot of information got to be put out there. If you don't do it, who will? And you know who else I want to say something to? These dumbass niggas. I'm talking about these old weak ass boys, man. Out here falling in love with the pussy, man. Oh, man. You know you don't want no babies. But you won't pull out. Get hard sometimes, my lord. No, I know. <laughs> you thought I was judging? <laughs> okay. I was talking to us indirectly. <laughs> but I've been working on myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's all about being a better me in 2018, right? It's the preparation time. People always say, man, don't say that this year my year. Man, fuck them. It ain't like you're going to be number one, nigga, but you're going to have to have the best year that you done had. Start getting yourself ready right now. Cut a motherfucker off before you cut them off, and then they might not even cut you off. Just cut them off. You heard what I said? I ain't really even say shit. Cut that motherfucker off now, man. Yeah. Go and start making your transition, because you probably going to be the one that they going to cut off anyway. I damn near cut myself off. I'm so ready for 2018. Boy. <laughs> it's 2018 coming up. If your sweatpants don't have no pockets on them, nigga, don't wear them. Type you, got, of, you ain't got no motherfucking being about What type of grown-ass man walk around with no pockets? <laughs> Trust these nigga, man. Keep that shit going, man. Give me some funk, man. Bring the funk in, bro. It's the 85 South Show. It's like a real nigga news network. And uh, if you listen to like three of these episodes, you can probably change your network. Hey, see, I'm going to tell you some shit and you want to know why. This the podcast started by me and Young Fly and Clayton. Chico came along. We started rapping and making all types of songs. And uh, my nigga Nav, he be doing the math and he be knowing what it do. He be touching and grabbing shit. And when I post a pic, I do it on Instagram. Hashtag quit touching shit. Ooh, there I am. 
I'm your girl's favorite comic I'm so sick with the freestyle I make niggas vomit Damn, like green eggs and ham I'm kicking bitches out the crib Like Martin did Pam Like, ooh, see that shit was so easy But that wasn't even my line I heard that shit from Lil Weezy and they don't even give credit what credit's due But that ain't shit that I don't do Because I keep it so true I rock red with the shoes and the blue with the hat I spit facts And niggas can't stand that And, uh, and every time that you see me I be so cool J-O-N, put this shit on Pro 2 Damn That shit crazy Shout out to my niggas who don't like their old lady But they love their baby that for that reason you can't leave I'ma give it to you straight because I know that's what you need It's uh, I'ma take it back to like 03 When I was doing this shit for free and wasn't charging a fee But no, I knew then that I was back to win Snoop was drinking gin I had some bitches at the crib, they can't go home Cause they didn't have no home and they didn't have no phone But they had a lot of ass and a real nice face So I had them rolling grass I'm like a drug dealer, but I tell jokes I'm like a drug seller, the way I smoke Oh, I want some ribs Had your girl butt naked walking around my crib And uh, and you don't even know that's how the pimping goes I'ma uh, pimp some hoes and have them cooking tacos Hey, <laughs> And I be all in the kitchen Play that shit, J-O-N, we on a mission I'm giving them too much, but I really don't think I give them enough Cause I be rapping and freestyling about all types of stuff And uh, even when I fuck up, I make it cool Say some shit like, wop, baba, loop, bop, bamboo hey. Nigga, I'm the coldest Out of everybody on the show, I'm like the oldest So I lead by example This ain't even a real song, this is just a freestyle sample You know why though, right? You gotta dilute that shit, man. You know why? Cause I'm the nipples on the titty like Lil Boosie said. Your girl get that juicy head. <laughs> the kind that have your whole waist wet. Bitch gave me the taste test. And that's when she stick her finger inside the coochie. Then she put it on your mustache and have it smelling like booty. <laughs> I just say some shit sometimes just to make myself laugh. Choking on the gas cause I'm rolling up good You probably seen me post it up in your neighborhood I've been fucking on that neighbor like a good neighbor should She's in good hands like Allstate, nigga Come on Ooh. See, see Lo, I feel like you giving it to him Then you give him too much Nah, and then I just start fucking around and Then you fuck him up Oh man, you know why? Why? Cause I'm the coldest, nastiest nigga on the scene My hat red, but my goddamn shirt green And I'm a rap like we do it down south You ain't gonna understand the word that be coming out my mouth And I put that on the house, Waffle House that is Shit, I'm in there so much, it's like my crib I got the waitress named Tanya She buying some teeth, the nigga like to eat pork But they ain't cooking no beef and ooh wee where the fuck did the weed go? Somebody tell them about the 85 South Show. It don't even matter. Pockets got fatter. Bitches sucking dick. I put the dick up in they bladder. Had this bitch name. Oh, shit. I forgot. But she was cute and she was hot and she was blowing up my spot. I put the dick up in a world like a squirrel. She on my nuts. She got mad and tried to tell my girl. I said, bitch, what is you doing? My life in your hands is you trying to ruin And that's okay, I tell the jokes and make her laugh She thought she fucked me up till me and my girl jumped her ass yo, yo, yo. <laughs> You understand? See, see low. Bro, I, she thought that she was gonna break us up Bro, we jumped that bitch in the Walmart parking lot, money I, 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 I feel like You feel me? You, you giving them real facts You Bruh, giving this, them stories Nigga, this my whole life right here but rappers ain't doing that. They not being real enough. And, 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 and I think that's something you give the game that the game ain't seen. I okay. would tell you to stop, but they need more no. of that shit. Okay, all right, fuck it. See, I'm a statistic, and I'm always known for bringing the drama. I ain't perfect myself, shit. I got a baby mama. And niggas look at me like, damn, Los, you made it. But let me tell you, ain't no such thing as made it. Mm-hmm. The bills keep coming. That's why you always see me working, grinding on something. 
You think this the motherfucking end? You seen me on Wild and Now I got to do it again. And okay, yeah, you might have seen me on a TV show, but I gotta hustle a little bit more so I can get up there some more. That ain't the only network I wanna work for. And if you watching this shit, shit, holla at some work, bro. I bank at Wells Fargo and Navy Federal. And under my mattress, and I do everything legal. I pay my taxes yeah. <laughs> in my business account. Don't worry about what I made. I still keep my amounts. And you think that you gonna get me for the discount price? You must be tripping, smoking dope, or trying to ruin your life. <laughs> See, Los, I like how you cover with it. For the simple fact, the president don't even pay his tax. You see Man, what I'm saying? He don't. He don't pay his tax. Oh, and, and you being side nigga of the decade. Come on, man. I feel like. You ain't showing niggas the steps to success. Okay. You talk about it. I'ma tell them then. You tell them your life. All right, here you go. Give them a breakdown. The first thing you got to do to be a vet and not a rookie, you want to be the president, well, grab them by the pussy. Woo! And shit, I'm talking about life. Don't grab nobody by the pussy unless that's your wife. Woo! And these is all facts. The president was black, they need to bring him right back Because this dude that they got now, I don't know how He be saying shit like, you ever drunk milk from a cow? I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is you saying? You the president, my nigga, you must be goddamn playing And uh, I ain't trying to say that I know it all But why the fuck would they waste money building a wall around Mexico? Mexico so goddamn cool, they got dope and they got hoes and they got all that shit too Damn and they act like they don't need us. Shout out to Maria, Jose, and my nigga Jesus. Hey. You think that I don't know shit? I speak a little Spanish, nigga. Viva Mexico. Hey. You see what I'm saying, bro? I can speak, I can rap that shit and speak just, just straight facts to him, bro. Man. You know what I mean? I, I I really love what you're doing. Love the game. Come so on, bro. This shit up. I'm trying to be big, my nigga. Hey. I'm trying to be bigger than Oprah Winfrey was in the '80s, bro. I'm talking about I want to be bigger than the old Al Sharpton, my nigga. I want to be bigger than the first motherfucking iPad, iPhone, all that. I'm talking about I'm trying to be bigger than a Motorola brick phone, my nigga. But I'm saying, Los, what you doing to the beat right now? I'm saying, like, you, you, you beating the fuck out. You, you beating the fuck out the beat. <laughs> you know what? And, and I feel like you finna let up. I'ma whoop this beat ass like the police be whooping on black suspects. You got pulled over in the middle of the night, you wasn't doing shit, but nigga, you ain't had your seatbelt on. I'm like, damn, you know better. You riding around with blunts, ain't got your seatbelt on, and it's that time of the month. So, uh, at the end, see, they don't let shit slide. That's why you always see them posted up on 285. They got a quota, and they gotta meet it every month. And if you fall victim, shit, that's your butt. I mean, really. Nigga, that's your ass. If the speed limit 65, you driving too fast. You a nigga, you know that you can only do 60. That's the way it goes in the city now. I've been out here for a couple of years. It took me a while to figure out. Don't drink no beers, cause if they tell you roll your window down and smell the alcohol, they gonna make you take that test and uh, your ass gonna fall. Ain't no way you can pass that shit. Cause if they make it, take it. You already guilty, my nigga. This is for the niggas who still don't know. Don't get your ass out that car. Cause once you step out the car, ain't no laws no more. I said, ain't no laws no more. Once you step up out that car, bro, ain't no laws no more. They gonna dig all in your drawers, fund your balls, go all in your booty, make you lay face down on that hot air concrete. Then they gonna handcuff you real tight. They're gonna be mad because they can't find the dope. But in actuality, it ain't even no dope to be found. You was on your way to get a little bag of weed. It's just life, though. You feel me? Hey, Los, I don't wanna look at like I'm an instigator. All right. <laughs> like, I want you to stop. Oh, okay. But a nigga just text my phone, he said, please, don't let low stop. I don't know how the fuck he know what you doing. 
<laughs> but all I'm gonna say, get back on that beat if you can. I said, by the time that this shit come out and they see it, they're gonna be like, damn, Los a comedian, but he rapper he need to be it, and they don't even know if I do it off beat. This shit gonna still be some heat like your grandpa's feet. Your grandma, she said, that's a real nice boy. He kinda handsome. I wish he was my grandson, but I can't even stand him. I told her that uh, I took a drug test, but it was kinda random. You think that I'm lying. I can go to the airport right now and cut line. Got so much juice. Hey, I believe your alternator loose Cause when you started that shit It sounded like your car wanted to quit And I be knowing all types of shit Old Mississippi nigga By the way, your ATL I just keep my clothes here Check my mail Bitch! The coldest nigga walking Freestyle so easy it's like talking What the fuck is you doing? And when I fuck it up and quit Your life gonna be in ruins Okay And you know what's next? Shout out to the hoes who think they my ex. <laughs> she thinks she my ex. I had to laugh at that one. <laughs> she thinks she my ex. <laughs> Bitch, you on a scholarship. I'm the type of nigga who don't get involved in relationships. It's stupid shit. It's the 85 South Show, my nigga. If you don't get it by now. If you don't get it by now, my nigga. How am I going to make you get it? You feel me? Shout out to Craig, though. Chad in the studio over there. J-O-N on that axe pick thing type shit. Then we got Joe 3 million on the camera, you know what I mean? This right here, this, this, this shit just for the 85 South Shore alumni. That mean everybody you done seen on here more than two times, my nigga. You know who the family is. You know where it started at. I ain't got to keep telling you who the button pushers are over here at the 85 South Show, my nigga. We getting, we doing this shit like the old Rockefeller, nigga. If every nigga in your crew is rich, then get, what the hell would that make your crew? Well, Rugged, nigga. Oh, my bad. And ain't nobody going to fall because everybody going to be each other's crutches, nigga. I knew that one. From the womb to the tomb. Shout out to Cat. We drink army from one cup, pass the shit around the room. Shout out to Cat. He out there in L.A. getting another bag. Shout out to Clayton English, he out there getting another bag. Shout out to DC Young Fly, he out there getting the other bag. Shout out to Chico B, he got the other bag. I'm, I'm, I could go on and on, but what could you do? What well, Big Bang? All my friends successful. Big Baby getting the bag. That nigga just finished season 10 on Wild and Out, everybody you named, though. We getting that money, stacking that change, bro. Never had to switch, stay in our lane, though. Never holler at a fucking lame hoe. But a homegirl, the one that's kind of quiet, ass so big, it's like she walking from a ride. Goddamn, I eat the ham, green eggs, and with the spam. Holla at me, you know who I am. The K to the A to the L to the O, I be doing the most. Uh uh. <laughs> AKA your big brother. Don't worry about why your little sister look just like me. <laughs> she got her mama skin tone. You know what I would have thought would have been happening by now, bro? I could have sworn some of my illegitimate kids would have found their daddy. You mean to tell me I ain't got no side kids, my nigga? I'm either real good or they that bad. You heard what I said? I'm either that good or they that bad. You know what the fucked up part, though? If they listen faster, you ain't got to slow down. You know what the fucked up part, though? <laughs> Is you really know me, bro. And they gonna see this shit and see how hype it is. And they gonna swear I'm on something. But you seen me wake up and come straight down here, smoke a blunt, drink a Red Bull. And now we here. And I'm talking about freestyle for 23 minutes and 47 seconds. Bro, this shit's so long, we gonna have to break it up in segments. I ain't even keeping count, but I know Don't. that's 23 minutes worth of freestyle. Bro, we, the shit's so long, Joe done switched memory cards. We gonna have a whole episode of us just talking over the beat. And then the niggas who don't get it ain't gonna never know. But yeah. the people who gonna watch the shit, they gonna be like, bro, you and now? That's a whole nother show. That's the 85 North. <laughs> no, this a nigga outro right here. Niggas outro don't even go out like this. These niggas can't rap. They gotta put this at the end of the show. Bro. Are you just... When we, we gotta stop and do some show. Shit. I'm 
I'm saying this too good to be the intro. And it's too good to be the outro. I think this just gonna be the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna have to be the show. Well, what we gonna do for the outro? Shit, we gonna turn the shit off and say a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> we hanging out like wet clothes in this bitch. Tell me. It's the 85 South Show. It's the coldest podcast. Yes, it is. <laughs> I said the 85 South Show. It be the coldest podcast. That's how it would have sounded in the 40s. Hello? All right, I'll tell them. They want one more, Los. Just one more. All right. Okay. All right. You want to make me do it? What more do you want from me? Shout out to my nigga Tyrese. His girl got him paying like 13 G's in child support. Damn nigga, who is your lawyer? I know you love your daughter, but she trying to destroy you. He said that he gon' represent himself. She gon' get all the money till ain't nothing left. And that ain't smart, my nigga. You are not a wins. You need to try to stack your money up for your other kid. Like, damn. Nigga, you Tyrese, the original dark skin nigga that was shiny like grease. Singing on the Coca-Cola bus like, yeah, 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 Coca-Cola. Nigga, I remember, and now you just crazy. Paying for your babies, and I know that everybody's mad about the child support, but goddamn. Come on, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Tyrese, man. My nigga had a breakdown, cause his girl was trying to get the money and the take down, the cake down. He fell down, he tried to fight. The Rock, this nigga must be crazy, bro, cause The Rock will beat your ass easy, though. And The Rock just laughed. He said, your new album, trash. <laughs> These niggas gonna be mad when they see me, bro. You know what's crazy, man? I said, you know what's really crazy, man. Hold up. I said, you know what's really crazy, man. Hey, see, we just be up here chilling, man, and really just be doing our thing and think it's just us kicking it and, you know, just for the fans and shit. But uh, I be seeing niggas who way more famous than me. They be in the corner like. <laughs> yeah, that's him. How <laughs> they do the head nod, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> And they be mad a little bit, you can tell, you know what I'm saying? They be hating, but then they'll be like, yeah, I fold that 85 house. I'll be like, come on a bit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't know why, bro. I don't know why. But 2018 gonna be stupid, buddy. We gonna have strippers on every third episode. Woo. Shout out to Red Bull. Even if they don't send us a check no more, they send us enough checks where we'll fuck with them for life, bro. You feel me? Yeah, they sent some more Red Bull. <laughs> check the boxes. It might be a check in there. <laughs> Maybe we, we recycle the cans and we'll get the money from the cans. <laughs> Just know that if we haven't did a live show in your city, we coming, bitch. We coming, bitch. Yeah, and you know who made this possible? I said, you know who made this possible, man? Talk to him. Nigga, we did. <laughs> they be like, give some thanks. I be like, thanks us <laughs> for working our ass off. Because ain't nobody never gave us shit. Everything we got, we had to go and get <laughs> off the motherfucking mud, out the muscle. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We built this shit. We built this shit. I'll tell you what we built this motherfucking 85 South Show with, my nigga. Okay. It was two iPhone chargers. Three cameras. One tripod. $17. A dream, a blunt and a half, a weed cookie, two bitches, 
But I can't say two because one of them was somebody's girlfriend. <laughs> My homeboy ex. Yeah. And just two dope niggas in a motherfucking, yo, know, fucking Cadillac nigga. Yeah, it was us. Now look yeah. around. Look at us now. What we got? We got white people trusting us to come all in their building. Joe working three cameras. White people trusting us all in they building. Look at that shit. We got math homework on the wall. Nigga, I'm talking about Chad over there beating on the conference table right Come now. on, my nigga. They have million dollar meetings. That's in this the crazy park. part is what niggas don't know. This table costs about $15,000. It, it looked like it. Bruh, look at us. I would take y'all out there because y'all don't believe this shit. They think we just in front of a brick wall, niggas. These niggas ain't never seen no window, no glass you can write on. Bro, they trust us so much it scared me, nigga. We walk out in the lobby last night. It's a stack of about 30 goddamn MacBooks, brand new in the box. I was like, ooh, Lord. Well, I'm glad I wasn't here. I'm so night. glad you wasn't here and I hate I told you about it. Shit. <laughs> Christmas coming up too, Lord. You know I don't want to go back to that. Hey. Speaking of which, my nigga. Don't ever steal no motherfucking computer. That's, that's the, oh, the computer's got phone. a GPS. Don't steal nothing. Matter of fact, stop stealing. Unless it's weed. If a nigga hey. throw you his sack of weed to roll a blunt, get you a little one, get you a blunt out of there. You know what you should say? What? Quit touching shit. Quit. Hey, you know when you say some shit you think they want to hear? Like say, be blessed. Yeah. But them be the people who say that the most really don't want you to be no more blessed than you already are. <laughs> Like, that's enough blessed for that nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, be blessed. Hey, my nigga, you saying that because you see that I already am. You yeah. be blessed. You get blessed. Get that shit out your eye. Because you ain't blessed. Stay humble. <laughs> be quiet, though. I'm going to tell my bitch that tonight. Don't, we always love a good underdog, bro. But sometimes... That's why Rocky did what it did. But see, sometimes... The underdog be on some fluky shit. Sometimes the best motherfucker don't always win. Sometimes how is Rocky it, the underdog in five uh, five movies though. Cause real, cause that that just go to show you missing what the movie really telling you. What Rocky is? really wasn't shit. <laughs> Rocky really wasn't shit. Every time Rocky fought, you like, he might lose. Right. He, he, come on, he, he wasn't shit. Think about it, bro. The movie is about a white dude who can box. You know that's a movie. Ain't no Apollo, goddamn Apollo white. Whoop his ass. Ain't no guy. They, that's what I'm saying. You think that motherfucker gonna whoop Club Lane and Apollo Creed? The fuck out of here. And Apollo, he had that boxing pretty knocking niggas ass out. Bro, if racism wasn't so prevalent in Hollywood, we could have got the guy. We could. They owe us three movies just about Apollo Creed. Right. What was he doing before he got the belt? Man, that nigga was man, living black man, man famous. Fucking you so saw as soon as that nigga pulled up in the brand new Cadillac, I was like, this nigga ain't acting. Yeah. That's real. I That's his. Carl Weathers. Mm. Yeah. You don't, oh, you don't remember Action Jackson. You a young nigga. Hey, I saw him Apollo on the Creed. Night. Apollo Creed was Action Jackson. You got to watch this old movie starring Carl Weathers and Vanity. Action Jackson. You know about that shit? Craig, no. They from the country. They from Tennessee. I know I know you didn't see motherfucking Action Jackson. If you had HBO back in the day, you seen Action Jackson. Now, now that movie, they really let a nigga be a hero on that bitch. All right, Los, you, you grew up around old folks. Okay. I, I, that's acceptable. I okay. did. In the heat of the night or Matlock? In the heat of the night, nigga. I don't See, know, Lowe's. Matlock was good when you stay like your grandparents put you up on Matlock. Oh, yeah, you had and now right see, there. I'm from the South where I said racism was prevalent. It was definitely a color line. You know why black people fuck with in the heat of the night? So hard, it was shot. And um, you know, the whole lead character was the old white man. I forget his name. From all in the family. But black uh, people watched the shit. They didn't even call it in the heat of the night. Most of some of them said, I'm about to watch Virgil Tibbs. That was the black person. Okay. You know, the black people fuck with Virgil. Because he was, you know, like the deputy sheriff like or whatever. He was in charge. Exactly. Black as hell. I remember that shit. But you know, Matlock had he he kept two black sidekicks. I love Matlock because he like Tyler. 
He always act like he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He would trick him. And then go into court and solve the motherfucking case right after eating a hot dog. Bro, when you brought Matlock up, though, it let me know you was a real nigga. Well, that let me know that you grew up around the right people. You probably didn't watch Gunsmoke and all that shit, huh? Nigga, you had to. You ain't no real nigga if your grandparents didn't make y'all watch Westerns. Because niggas didn't have all them TVs in the house growing they up. They did, but the old people don't like... I, well, I grew up... You said I grew up around the old people. Nigga, old people didn't like when you turn the TV a lot. <laughs> Stop turning that damn TV so much. Boy, like, you mess it up. I grew up around them ornery-ass old people. Everything pissed them off. My grandma used to always get mad about turning the TV. So we just watch all type of shit. She's a crazy old lady. Made us watch the whole baseball game. You ever watch the whole baseball game, nigga? Hell no. Baseball game come on at two o'clock in the afternoon, still be on there eleven o'clock at night. Nigga, oh. I was the only five year old watching Wheel of Fortune solving pro- puzzles and Jeopardy and shit. You just think you were, you weren't though. Niggas been watching that Jeopardy. Wheel of Fortune was cool, but not Jeopardy, man. Bruh, this is what you gotta watch again as a grown person though. Golden Girls. Yeah. This shit was some sick shit. Yeah. All these seventy plus year old ladies still hold. Man, I thought Blanche was fine. Man, you was a sick man. Hey, woo! You see the finest one out of the rest of them? That's she was just the youngest old bitch. That's all it was. <laughs> She's still an old bitch. Just cause you, and just cause you got the youngest old bitch, don't make her a young. She old, my nigga. That's how it be though. If you put it that way, then yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm. Hey, man. I wouldn't lie to you. They always asking me this shit. I got a book of um I got a book of damn hotel for this show. I mean getting the all in deal. Uh-huh. So they just give you the whole check and then well, you, you just gotta take care of your reservations and stuff. Bro. Yeah. Cause I the shit that I'm doing, I'm make I make money all the way around, bro. Uh-huh. Don't tell me how much don't don't tell me what hotel to put me in. That's how you get set up. Right. Motherfucker know exactly where you at. Mm mm. What hotel you at? Bitch, I'm at the Hotel 9, right behind the airport. Tyler taught me some shit the other day about that. What? About the whole hotel. Yeah, don't stay in the room that's outside, my nigga. That get your ass. Oh, I know. We knew that. But yeah. I'm talking about just like going back to the hotel right after they paid. Hey, like switch rooms. Especially if you got one of them. them see, janky promoters do shit like put, meet you at the airport and act like they doing you a service. Here go your room key right here. No, buddy. Yeah. Mm-mm. What the other one? I don't know how many keys you told that bitch to get it. Right. Be, I ain't, baby, I'm stay. No, fuck you not. <laughs> they done, I done had promoters try that shit. Hey, baby, we can kick it over here. No, the fuck you ain't. It ain't like that. I don't get how we having a show in your hometown and you got a hotel room. <laughs> I never understood this shit. Why you need a hotel room? Mm-hmm. Man, I did a show with somebody. He tell the promoter, man, take me to the hood. I said, well, drop me off. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. I'm Fuck, I want to go see the hood. I'm tired of niggas trying to goddamn show me the roughest yeah, part of hey, town. Nigga, don't, I believe. <clears throat> don't show me that. Take me downtown where motherfuckers take pictures at. Yeah, I can watch that shit on YouTube. Fuck man. this. I don't want to see the project. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas killing me. Y'all niggas trying to be too hard. You don't read your comments? Read them comments. <laughs> we'll throw them shits in there. Nah, I think... Uh, this shit been so far, we ain't even got to say shit up. I think that nigga Chad Wright, that shit itself. Ain't nobody named JPKP01. Uh-huh, that before. shit straight out the comment section. Man, who the fuck a name they sell that shit, bro? <laughs> bro, you be surprised. <laughs> but I fuck with the comment. Now I've got potential like a motherfucker. He said MF. He funny <laughs> as fuck. I appreciate that, JPKP. Damn. The next one is. That nigga said oh he got potential. God. Like, you ain't already one of the coldest motherfuckers out. I just take it. I'm, I'm humble. <laughs> Fuck that humble shit, bro. All right, this TR33. This nigga must be a blood. Oh, hold Cause on. Because you know they don't do the E's and. Nah, they, these computer people, man, they ain't oh. blooded up. Nav jokes be real life. They but damn funny. Sure do. Hey, man, it's my life. <laughs> All right, let me shout these people out, man. These, these young niggas been going hard in my mentions, man. Edward Richardson Jr. and Kid Memphis. Them the ones who keep doing the, this podcast is for. Yeah, bro. Say a couple on that. They don't say it, though. <clears throat> you know what? Okay. Let me see. Let me find one. Look how long this shit is. They've been doing this shit for weeks. Uh, let me see. 
Oh, no, nah, he said this. A kid Memphis said this podcast is for dudes that get mad when you tell them to pass the blunt when it's your weed they smoking on. Shit like that. Yeah, that that true shit though. Uh, Real this podcast, shit. a kid Memphis people with no license and tag for their car, but they still ride around like they don't give a damn. Nigga, that's me. <laughs> Hey, my nigga Ed said, this is podcast for people who walk around the game with them I need tickets signs. <laughs> but them be the niggas with all the tickets, though. Yeah, got them all. If you ever need some tickets, ask the nigga with the sign, with the I need tickets sign, because he's selling them. <clears throat> but he's, hey, the nigga said, this podcast is for niggas who still wear the socks with the hole in the toe. Actually, it's not, because them niggas are murderers and savages. Any motherfucker who would knowingly put on a sock with a hole in it, you too grown for that shit, man. You are too grown. I, you know what's better than that? I feel like you really scraping the bottom when you just grab just two random ass socks. Now, those are people who kind of worry me a little bit, too. When the nigga just wear two random socks, just a church sock and a gym sock. <laughs> like, this nigga here, the whole goddamn uh, <laughs> fucking fuck up. Man, I, uh, when he talking about the uh, insurance... I ain't, uh, my license had got suspended, so I get pulled over. Damn. The police, he come to the car. So you know me, I'm thinking I done ran one on him. I'm like, for real, officer? He was like, yeah, let me show you. So I get out the car, he acting like he showing me something on the tag. Put your hands behind you, bro. I was like, man, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> I felt so played because I'm bending down looking you at the You dumb as hell. He got your dumb ass. Man, he tricked the fuck out of me, man. Damn, bro, you stupid. You don't supposed to get tricked by the police, bro. He tricked me good, too. Tricked me good. Like, bro, because I bet now he was like, let me show you. Because I'm thinking he's showing me, like, nah. this way you, you probably What you thought was going to happen after he showed you? No, I, he thought, went, I, I, yeah. thought, I, I thought I tricked him in the car. Cause I was like, no, I was saying, no, they ain't getting no notification. Like, I'm on my acting shit. No, yeah. Uh, he acted like he knew what. So he I acted get out, like I get out of the car. Shit. Like, I don't got it, dumb ass. I've been down looking at the tag. He was like, put your hands behind you. This nigga got the fuck. Wow. Wow. That'd be a great time to tell him to go to the 85 southshowcom and get you some of this fresh ass material since we're <laughs> tricking people into doing shit. Yeah. yeah. He done been hanging around some niggas before, man. He, knew he was a white dude. Man, I got And you trip. got finessed by the white man. But ain't that America? Yeah. <laughs> but I do fuck with him because he ain't let my car get told. He let, he let, he let somebody come. I was like, See, he real enough for that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was. See, but we you salute. know what I called him a PAC. We salute good police work, Officer Dooley. I called him a PAC, though. Player hating di- what? A PAC. Pussy ass. Pussy ass quack. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Don't nobody say cracker like them niggas in Florida. Shout out what, to them. What, They got that shit locked down. Man. Quack. I think they started that shit. They had to. They had to. All right, man. What's the wrap up? Oh, it is getting chilly. Get you a dope ass hoodie. I mean, you might as well walk around looking like you a part of something. Man, Los, you got to be the first nigga to pull out that eighty-five South bubble coat. You think I won't, bro? I got. I just really haven't even been busting out all the shit that I got. I got damn near everything with eighty-five. I got, I'm the only nigga with an eighty-five South raincoat. Oh shit! Yeah, I got a whole blue jean jacket suit. Shit. Some dumb ass shit. I got a tuxedo with the bitch got the whole, it's just 85 South all on there. Yeah, dumb ass shit. Where do you see me with these? I got the old jogging suit with no pockets on it. 85 South, you know what I'm Bruh, I got niggas sending me all type of shit. If you make shit, put 85 South. I want it. We need 85 South condoms out here, man. Why? We go raw on this show? No. Yeah. No. We're gonna, we can sell condom boxes. But I'm saying, I ain't saying to wear them. I'm talking about for show. No. Nah. Bitches, that's where you condom at. Man, shit. I just need to pull it out short. Like, Let man. her know. <laughs> Novelty condoms. The bitch won't open. No. The bitch won't open. Because I hate pretending like I'm looking for one. <laughs> <laughs> where you condom at? Fuck I'm oh shit, this is a good one. This podcast is for niggas who go half on everything. Exactly. Shit. Shit. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. I seen two niggas give I right, niggas was giving uh he gave the other nigga fifty cent for one of them two four dollar swish. No. <laughs> yeah. Shit rough out here, bro. Who else? Uh they need they said we need to do rebel radio. 
episode, every uh, every sketch, every sketch need a Rebel Radio episode. We're gonna get get back to that pimp shit. What niggas say this podcast is for niggas who still fucking their baby mama while her man at work. First whoa, of all, whoa, whoa. you not a good father if you gotta sneak and fuck your baby mama. <laughs> I don't respect that. <laughs> while her man at work, right? The fuck is you doing? Bro, I didn't know that this shit was this real though. They said we got niggas that this podcast is for niggas that pull over just to comment. I did not know that. Y'all, hey man, the notification gang be going real hard out here in these streets. I, the comments from the notification gang be shit like, man, I ain't even watched this shit yet and I'm already leaving comments. I know this shit gonna be good. Thank y'all for believing in us. Thank you. Shit. <laughs> I want to fucking cry. <laughs> you treat us so fucking good. <laughs> All right, man. What else should we put in here? This shit be dope, though, man. I appreciate you coming through and fucking with us so hard. Bro, I, I, I got to make sure I give you one of these new hoodies. I heard you done wore a goddamn a hole in the other hoodie. Damn, niggas out here telling Niggas are telling you all your business, bro. What size is you? That L will do me. Which one is that? <laughs> See, then he giving me the shit on camera so y'all know it's, it's real. It's official, bro. Cause, nah, bro. It's just like when you get an extra life, bro. You done, you done wore your shit enough times to you know trade it in. It, but, bro, you don't even understand what it do when you throw the brand out there like that. That's how the nigga stopped me in the bar. Just get me more hoes. Every time you wear it, hoes start believing in me. <laughs> fucking with it, man. Fucking with it. All right, man. This has been another rendition of the 85 South Show. Hey, hey please don't start no beat, man, because I know what Lowe's might want to do, man. Oh, let's get this out of our chair. Hey, hey, our favorite holiday coming up, black people. Thanksgiving, goddamn, it's coming. Y'all know we can't wait to eat, nigga. We... Shit, nigga. Thanksgiving got to be your favorite holiday as an adult. It used to be Christmas. But Christmas whack as fuck. When you when you grown, Christmas is woo. That is a piece of shit holiday. I mean, for Jesus, for Jesus is good, but the other shit, you know. <laughs> Before, let me clear that out. Let me clear that. Let me clear that. You know what I'm saying? You know, we good. You know what I mean? Cause you know, when you young, Christmas was fun. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't sleep at night. You thought you heard Santa every night, every hour. <gasps> it's him. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. And you just you open your gifts. Thanks, Mom. When you grown, Christmas, what? Your Christmas, you ever see how weak your Christmas list is as an adult? Your shit changed. You used to want PlayStation, Nintendo, shoes, Jordans. Now you be like, you know what? Just get me some sheets. I could use some new sheets. <laughs> you know what? Some sheets would be nice. A good, a good set, queen size, if that's on your heart. Like, when you older, your Christmas list is whack as hell. You, you know what, Ma? Just give me some towels. I could use a set of towels. <laughs> Don't let it be a rough Christmas. Don't let it be rough. You, <laughs> Hey, <clears throat> can you cover a bill? <laughs> if you could just cover my car payment this month, that would be a blessing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just spent your car payment in the club. You could just... But it's Thanksgiving. We can't wait for, like, am I the only one who start preparing for Thanksgiving that week, like on Monday? Like, I start eating light on Monday, like, ooh. No full meals, no. I'm going to eat heavy this week. I'm going to eat heavy. <laughs> you don't get no size. You're at Chick-fil-A, just a sandwich and a water. I'm going to eat heavy at the end of the week. <laughs> I don't eat shit. You know, you, you, am I the only one that starves myself on Thanksgiving morning? Black people, we so stupid. We starve ourselves on Thursday morning. We don't eat shit all morning. The kids eating, nibbling on shit. You looking at them like, no, no, I'm good. I can hold off. I can hold off. Like, I'm determined not to eat nothing all morning until it's time to eat. But I don't, I don't like the help, though. Like, when they walk past to ask who up to help, I still pretend like I'm asleep. Like, I'll be on my phone. Who up? Then I starve myself, right? White folks, when y'all say y'all gonna eat Thanksgiving at two, do y'all mean two? Right, right. See, we, we, us, we, we have no idea how that feels. None of us, not one black person in here has ever had Thanksgiving.
And we get fooled by our family every fucking year. Every fucking year them niggas get us. Every fucking year. Hey, I know we've been bullshitting the past 16 years, but this year, we're going to eat at 2.30. <laughs> 2.30, y'all, we eating. Everybody get your shit. Get, get what you got to get done. 2.30, we eating. You like, shit, I can make that, boy. 2.30, shh. Fuck it, I ain't eating shit. 2.30 come along, nigga. You start checking on shit. You ever do that kitchen walkthrough? <laughs> hey, why is there still time on the ham? <laughs> so we're not eating at 2... Okay, okay. That should, be about, that should be about 30 minutes. Okay, cool. Then next thing you know, it's 3.30. You done made a mistake that looked on Instagram and all your friends done ate... <laughs> So now you just getting mad. You just over there. <laughs> then next you know it's four o'clock. Now you lightheaded. You in the <laughs> you on the couch nodding off. You in the hallway passing out. Then finally you just mad as fuck. Cause you know black people when we when we hungry, that attitude we'll cuss anybody out. Your grandma be like, "Well, baby, what's wrong? Bitch, what the fuck?" Grandma, I'm so sorry. I just, I just don't understand why we say 2.30 and we never eat at 2.30. I just, you didn't deserve that. And then, like, am I the only one that asked? I asked them, like, I'd be like, hey, let me know when you put the biscuits in so I can step outside. I'll be right back. And I go out and I get high as fuck. I'm talking about, like, <laughs> I'm in the car. <laughs> you, ever, you ever smoke fast because, you know, you ain't got that much time? <laughs> I come back, eyes red, I'm ready to kill. I'm in that bitch like. <laughs> you know, when you a big nigga in the family, you be like, <laughs> you be like, nah, y'all go ahead. Everybody go ahead. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> nah, I'm going to go last. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, get your kids. Get your kids too. Because when I get done with this bitch, I don't know what the fuck going to be left. <laughs> Your auntie always be like, oh my God, do y'all smell that? Yes, bitch, it's me. <laughs> do you want to go ahead and eat? Once I get a hold of this motherfucker, ain't nobody going <laughs> to. Then when it's time to eat, they always pick the one old person to pray. And this bitch is praying for people we don't even know. Like, first of all, this is a plus one bitch. Don't be praying for her. Hear this shit? You, you and your cousin making eye contact? I wish they would hurry up. <laughs> then you finally eat. You know what I'm saying? What's the first plate? The first plate is everything. A little small piece of everything. But black people so rude. Why we got to look at the whole table before we fix the plate? Like, I'm talking about we judge every, every, every dish. We walk up. <laughs> Who made this shit? Why y'all always trying something new, man? Just stick to the fucking basics. Then your second plate is what? Your favorite. Whatever your favorite is, that's your second plate. Your ass been eating right all year. You ain't had collard greens, ham, none of that. You ain't had mac and cheese like that since last day. If you constipated, you done ate yourself into a headache. Now you damn hunger drunk. You supposed to go Black Friday shopping. You going out? Shit, boy. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't going nowhere. My feet swole. I got a headache. I can't eat nothing else, bro. As soon as you see somebody get up, hey, bro, do me a favor. Cut me a piece of sweet potato pie. Bring that back to me. Just, <laughs> just a small piece. I just need something to get me over. <laughs>